Have you ever played a game where you've just been dreading what tier your opponent is and wondering if they're one tier higher than you? But you just don't really know how to tell just by looking. Well, in this video I'll try to quickly break down some of the key things to look for when trying to deduce what tier your opponent is. First off, I just wanted to start with Chaos and Space Marines together, just because their HQs look pretty similar. Here is the base HQ for both races in all their tier 1 glory. Now let's have a look at when they both hit tier 2. As you can see, there is a, a little bit of a more considerable thickness around this top part of the HQ here. But the one place I personally pay attention to the most is in the middle, where there are these twin bars kind of sitting parallel to each other. These bars are also different in color to the rest of the HQ, but in case they aren't, like if your opponent just has this color scheme where all the colors are just one singular color, here are some things you can look out for. So for Chaos, look at these spikes here on the base HQ. If those have disappeared, that means he is tier 2 or higher. Also, there are these um, tentacles things that appear uh, around the HQ. For Space Marines, it's a little bit trickier, but if you wanted something to really distinguish between tier 1 and tier 2, just look for these little yellow circles uh, with, the, with the black skulls inside them sitting on top of those those same bars that I talked about earlier. Now in terms of tier 3, it's actually a lot easier to spot, apart from like numerous other details that, that happen during this upgrade. The one thing that I look out for the most is this X structure thing that gets placed on top of the, the this bulky part of the HQ here. So if you can sort of spot this, then you'll know straight away that your opponent is tier 3. Now for Imperial Guard, here is what their base HQ looks like, and in tier 2, pretty simple. Just look for this moving satellite thingy, pretty straightforward. And for tier 3, you can see this giant box with this green glowy bits has been just plonked on top of the HQ, and that's how you'll know when your opponent is tier 3. Moving on to Necrons, another simple race as well. In tier 1, you can see we have the mono is pretty much all the way in the ground, save for this little part sticking out here. But in tier 2, the, the mono is about halfway out of the ground, right? And then finally in tier 3, you can see the mono has been fully unearthed, pretty much sitting on top of the ground, ready to be transformed into a restored monolith. Another perhaps easy way of checking the tier level of a Necron player is to check the Necron Lord's health. So if his health is at 1800 max, that means this player is still tier 1. And then once his health reaches 2250, that's how you'll know your opponent has gone tier 2. And finally, when the Necron Lord has reached a health rating of 2700, that's when you know your opponent will be tier 3. So this is kind of an alternate way of figuring out a Necron player's tier level just by checking the Necron Lord's health. Moving on to the Sisters of Battle, here is what their standard HQ looks like in tier 1. And then once they hit tier 2, you can see these five spires have been added across the HQ, pretty much in, in all four corners, plus in the middle here. So definitely look out for these if you want to know if your opponent is tier 2 or not. And finally, in tier 3, you can see this dome thing in the middle gets stretched a little bit upwards. So it looks a little taller than its uh, tier 2 predecessor. So again, tier 2, tier 3, tier 2, tier 3. I suppose just look for these little windows um, on the HQ here. Elder, Orcs, and Tau. I've grouped these guys together because their tier 2s are unique in the fact that you have to build a certain building to get to tier 2 for these races. If you want to be able to tell if your opponent's tier 2, you'll have to do a bit of scouting around their base and look for these following buildings. So for Elder, this is the Soul Shrine. For Tau, the Path to Enlightenment. And for Orcs, if they have four WA banners on the field, then this means that they are tier 2. Now in terms of tier 3, things get a little bit trickier. So for Elder, their tier 3, which is mobilized for war, is a research done in the HQ which does not alter the appearance of the HQ in any way once it's complete. So you have to resort to other ways of 
finding this information. The best ways I could think of was to look out for these units and abilities um, that are only unlocked once Mobilize for War has been researched. So if you see the Seer Council on the field, Shuriken Bright Lance platforms, then your opponent is tier 3. Also, if you see Warp Spiders using their Haywire Grenades, that is also an indicator that your opponent is tier 3. For Tau, simply just sniff out your opponent's base and look for either the Monkar or Koyon command posts. XV8 battle suits and Crude Hound packs are also indicative of a tier 3 Tau. For Orcs, well, need I say more? Finally, Dark Elder. Dark Elder's tier researches are all done at the HQ, but none of them actually modify the HQ itself in any way, unlike the previous races. In that case, I'm just going to put forward some points to help you figure out what stage of the game they're at. So for tier 2, things to look out for are Scourges, Witches, Raiders, Teloses, and the Witch Cult Arena. In tier 3, you might want to look out for Warp Beasts and Ravens. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. That's all I have to say about um, trying to figure out what tier your opponent is. Hopefully this will be a bit more useful in your future games so that you can recognize just how far up your opponent is and allow you to plan accordingly. Anyway guys, that's me, Jagus, and I will see you in a future video. Cheers.